let's fix this error call you can't make this change at the moment instead of using this device they ask you to use a normal device or usual device that you use to log into your Facebook account normally. In this video, I will show you how to fix this error without using another device, just using the same device. Even if you use the web version, lighter version or your mobile application, this error get again and again. But if you follow my step correctly, definitely you can fix this error. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Before I fix the error, first I will show you what is the error that you can get. When you try to make some important security changes or if you try to remove your primary email address or phone number, you will get this kind of error. Before you start, close the all application within your device. To fix this issue, you have to have Instagram application in your device. If you don't have that in, go to Play Store App Store, then type and search Instagram. Then you have to download and install this Instagram application. Like this, after that, you can open this Instagram application. To start, I will close all application on my device. Then I open my Insta application. As well as you have to have Instagram account. If you don't have one, you can create an account. After that, tap your profile icon in the bottom right corner. Then you have to go to Instagram account center. So tap the hamburger menu in the top right corner. Then in the pop-up window, select settings and privacy. Now at the top, you can see account center option. Just tap it to go there. After that, you will get this full list here. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, you can see accounts here, select accounts at the bottom. Then you have to add your Facebook account to this Instagram account center. Here, if you already added your Facebook account to Meta account center, you can skip this next step. But if you didn't add, tap add accounts, then you can select your Facebook account. Then if you log into your Facebook account using your application, it will be automatically add to here. If it is not, you have to enter your login details. After entering, it will show like this. Then you can tap the continue button at the bottom. Then you have to tap yes, finish adding. Now just wait a few seconds until it gets completed. Then you can see your Facebook and Instagram accounts are connected to each other in Meta Account Center. Now you can go back. Now scroll up. At the top you can see both profiles are connected to in Meta Account Center. Right now you can see I'm using my Instagram application. Now on within this Instagram application you can change the, all the settings that you can't make within your Facebook application. If you want to remove your primary email address. You can go there by tapping contact information. Here, if you tap delete email, it will delete from both Facebook and Instagram. So if you want to delete only from your Facebook account, you have to select Facebook, then tap delete from Facebook. As well as if you want to delete your phone number, you can follow the same rule. As well as if you want to add new number, you can add like this. First, enter your new number. After that, you have to select Facebook if you only added it onto Facebook. Then if you want to make some security changes, it is possible here. So go back, then select password and security under account setting. Here you have to select two-factor authentication under change password. Like earlier, since account are connected to in Meta account center, it have two options. Here select Facebook, then they allow you to go forward and turn on two-factor authentication. Earlier you saw it didn't allow me to turn on two-factor authentication. But I'm using the same device and I'm using Instagram application. Like this you can turn it on. In this video I'm not going to show in full video how to turn it on. I'm just proving it can possible when you use your Instagram application. You can see when I use my Facebook application and other Facebook versions that option is not available you can see but when i use my instagram application they allow me to do that thing so all these changes that you can't make on your facebook application you can do that thing using this instagram application and also after making these changes within your instagram application when you go back to your facebook application those places will be updated like this. I will go back to my Facebook application. You can see two-factor authentication is turned on in there too. 
you can see i could be able to do this thing just using my instagram application you see i'm using my facebook application that one then this is my instagram application like that you can do whatever the changes using this method that you can't make on facebook after saving these changes all the places will be updated too like you see in the video right now i'm using my browser even if you use the basic version or lighter version that option has been turned on this is my instagram application that you used to turn it on this is my original facebook application this is just one way to fix this error if you want to learn alternative ways i will put the video links in the description that's it for today's video see you in the next one later